Hi everybody, I'm Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. Um, last uh, episode we have showed um, how to paint this uh, fish picture. And now I'm going to mount it with uh, silicone dry mounting paper. Um, this is the latest uh, technology I have found to replace the wet mounting, uh, traditional flower paste mounting. And once I uh, adopt this method, I never gone back to the old way. And uh, here's uh, why. First, um, let's take a look of the picture, uh, which is done on the single ply shrain rice paper. You can see the paper is very uh, thin and uh, uh, it's not a perfect flat. You, um, you can see waves and uh, traditionally if you want to keep this picture uh, you don't have to mount. So you can fold it and mail it in the, in the envelope, you know, like, just like that. Uh, so you can even have creases or folding lines on the picture. Uh, so before you frame uh, or um, hang it, you need to mount it to make it uh, flat. And also there another uh, important uh, uh, function of mounting is to make the effect of uh, ink and color um, come out with more depth uh, to return to the stage when it was uh, wet. So it, it will fade after it uh, dries and the mounting will bring it, bring the color back to its uh, um, original depths that we saw in um, the process of painting when it's uh, still wet. So I can just make an extreme uh, example that uh, I just fold it uh, like that. So how do I get the folding lines and creases out? The answer is mounting. So we don't stretch the painting um, before painting, uh, before mounting. So it, not like a watercolor, you stretch the paper before you paint. We do that afterwards. Uh, first thing with the dry mounting is to cut the silicone paper into size, uh, slightly smaller or equal to the size of the painting. I have a, um, a little margin here without uh, the film, so I need to cut that out. Okay, now I have a picture size backing paper ready. Slot a little bit smaller. It's uh, or equal size to the painting. You can see that. Now there are uh, two ways that we can uh, dry mount the. Uh, Chinese painting. One is to um, mount directly in, on the backing board, like a foam board, museum board, or a piece of uh, watercolor paper. Now today I'm going to use a, a 300 pound um, watercolor paper. And I cut that into size of the picture. The other way is to mount directly on the 
uh, silicon paper, then transfer it onto any uh, backing material. I have a backing paper ready. Um, the next, I'm going to put the silicon film on the backing paper, then release the paper leave the film on the backing paper and then we put the painting on. Now I have a iron set to temperature a little above um, silk. It's 180 Fahrenheit, that's what we need. So I iron the silicon paper onto the backing board from center out in all directions. So dry mounting, no uh, moisture at all. The silicon paper is heat sensitive. And after cool a little bit. Just lift one corner carefully so you can see the film left on the watercolor paper. The backing paper can be released. Okay, then you have a film attached to the watercolor paper. The next, I'm going to wet or dampen um, the picture first. You can iron directly without moisture, but uh, you, you may have uh, wrinkles. So I find it's uh, um, much easier to spray some water first. So I just use some uh, water You can spray either on the front or the back, doesn't matter. And let it uh, stretch a little bit so you see the paper, um, the wrinkles are stretched, or easy to be stretched when it's wet. Not that much water, just uh, uh, enough to stretch it. Now I have uh, the painting sitting on top of the watercolor paper with uh, silicon film, right? And then um, I use a, the, the piece that we just peeled off from the silicon and uh, put on top as a protective paper. You can use paper weight to help. Okay, and then uh, set the temperature between silk and the wall and start to iron. 
from center out And you can move circular way or uh, any directions. Just make sure it's uh, even. And you can see it's getting there. So the painting now perfectly flat, no wrinkles at all. Someone might notice the, the, the corner seal. Um, it's a very important uh, balance on the composition, in, in composition. Um, the content of this uh, corner cell says, uh, once you have gotten the fish, forget about the trap. It's a saying from uh, Zhuangzi, the Taoist master uh, in ancient China. He says, uh, the trap of uh, uh, fish exists uh, the trap exists because of the fish. Once you have gotten the fish, forget about the trap. And uh, he concludes that uh, the meaning is more important than words. So grasp the meaning, um, forget about the words.